What's up everybody and welcome to episode 5 of our new web series and today we're going to be learning about what a pinky brake is. So when you're doing magic and magic tricks, using a pinky brake is a very easy way to get a break in the deck of cards so you can place it below or above a spectator's card. So when you do a cut or something like that, you can always find that spectator's card. Today we're going to look over the very basics of what a pinky cut is and how to do it and also where it's useful. What we're also going to do is learn how to take it from a pinky brake to a thumb brake for the next video which is in our web series so you can learn how to do that trick. So let's get started and get learning. So the pinky brake can be used for a number of different things. You can use it to save a spectator's card in the deck so you can easily get access to it or you can use it to actually force a card on the spectator so you can use that card for a trick. What you can do with the pinky break is get very easy access to a spectator's card. So a quick example for this one, do the two-handed spread which you learned about. See there, that has a seven of spades. So you can take that card, put the back in the deck, spread the card up, you can do any sort of thing that you want, even if you just cut to it, you can get that card very easily. Obviously that was just a quick example. You want to do something more elaborate than that rather than just saying here, there's a card, right, there's your card again, because that's very easy to suss out. So what I'm gonna do is show you exactly how I've done that, show you the pinky break, and obviously go from there. So again, with the two-handed spread, just do that. You don't have to force a card, don't have to pick any specific card, but in this instance, we have that one. So that's the Ace of Clubs, like so. What you're gonna do with this other deck of cards is your pinky is gonna go on the corner there, and that is gonna be your pinky break. And then obviously when you put the other deck of cards on top, you wanna to straighten them up and hold them, from the front angle, like that, you can't see that there's any break. But then, however, on the back angle, as you can see here, you've got the pinky and the break, so you can easily break off those cards, and that's the chosen spectator card. So again, as you can see there, you have a break on the cards, and from the front angle, it doesn't look like anything. From this angle, it doesn't look like anything. You have to use these fingers here to hide the pinky break. So from there you can do a number of different things. So you can do some cuts and different things like that just to, to get the card to top or bottom. So for this example, if I was showing you, say you want to do a swing cut, you can take those cards, swing it, put it on, and the way you held the pinky break, that card has gone to the bottom of the deck. However, if I was to take that, and I was to do a pinky break on top of that card rather than underneath, if I was to do that swing cut again above the pinky break, swing it around, put, completing the cut, that card is now appeared on top. So it all depends on whether you want the card to the top or bottom when you're cutting the cards as to where you have the pinky. So the pinky break comes in very handy for things like the ambitious card routine and other tricks that you want to do. So for example here, the Ace of Clubs. If I want to take this card of my ambitious card routine and make it come to back to the top, what you can do is take it, put it in the middle of the deck, like so, and once you've had that card, what you can do is, it's not on the top now, but if you click like that, you can turn it over and the card comes to the top. And all that was done was via a pinky break. So the pinky break in question for that one is something called a Marlowe tilt. So of course we're going to cover the Marlowe tilt on a future episode. So for example you want to take the top card and make it the second card down but making the element that has been lost in the deck. All you have to do is take the cards, push it over, grab a pinky break underneath. It's as simple as that. So all you do is push it over your card and when you pull it back you need this pinky here, there, so when you pull it back your pinky is now under that top card. And what you can do while you're talking about the trick, you can easily do it just by pushing it over like that and now you've got your break. You can do that moving, it's not going to be detectable because your hand's moving anyway, so instead of looking, oh, he's done something fishy there, your hands are moving so you can't see it. Now basically for your Marlowe tills is your card goes in second from top because you've got that pinky break, it's easy enough to push the card in, it just makes the effect look like it's going in the middle of the deck. So that's another example of how you can use a pinky break and what a pinky break is. So now what we're going to do is just a quick look at how you can take a pinky break and you want to change it into a thumb break. The same as the previous one. So you push off the top card, you grab that pinky break. And then what you do is you hold it with your other hand and now you have that thumb break. The top card is broke with the thumb. So what I like to do is use this bit of the thumb just to get the card. So obviously your pinky break. And when you transfer your deck over, you have that grip with that little break there in your thumb and then you can use that for a multitude of different tricks which is what we're going to go over next with the Broadway reversal in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the video about the pinky break. Hope you learned some basic methods and the basic understanding of what a pinky break is and how it can be used in magic tricks. So like I said we're going to go over something regarding the pinky break and the thumb break in the next episode so keep an eye out for that. If there's anything else which you want to learn drop a comment below and we'll put it in the video series and 
we'll get it out there for you all. Until next time, see ya.